Hello, and welcome to this learning session on the SPA2 configuration software. In this learning session, we are focusing on the SPA2 high-level instrument, the HLPRG, and we're going to be looking today at the display tab and its features. So let's click over to the display tab right now, and before we get moving along, let's hit the stop button, because if we make any changes, the instrument has to be stopped while we do that. Okay, let's take a look at the uh, what's available to us here. What we are doing on the display tab is we are determining what is going to be displayed on the LCD, the, the, the digital display on the front of the instrument. Okay. Currently, we're set up for it's just going to display the process variable, and we're not using any custom label, and the decimal places are all being set automatically. Uh, for the display, we have a selection of the process variable or the output current slash voltage. Uh, I have the output right now set for current, so if I selected this one, what would be displayed would be the output current. You go back to process variable. You can also hit use the toggle feature so that now I can show both the process variable and the output current. It will switch back and forth between the two. If, if that's desirable, you have that available to you. Uh, also, you can use a custom label if you'd like. Right now, mine is displaying uh, the default, which is milliamps. That's what I'm measuring. I can choose a custom label. And uh, you probably wouldn't use that too much unless you're using it in conjunction with the scaling feature, which we'll show a little later. So scaling feature, let's say if you had 4 to 20 milliamp input, uh, you would want to use a custom label if you wanted it to, to display 0 to 100%. So you're scaling your 4 to 20 to 0 to 100, and then down in the custom label, you can put uh, you know, an abbreviation of 4% if you'd like. Okay, so, but I'm going to leave that alone for now, and I'm going to leave off the toggle for now. But, and uh, also down here, you have the uh, decimal places. It, you can have it automatically set the decimal place, or three positions, two positions, one position, or zero, whichever you would like for your display. And that, a, lot, a lot of that depends on your application, how much it's moving. You want those numbers constantly changing. It's a little, uh, little off-putting there. You see those numbers flashing around, so you can reduce the number or increase the number of decimal places, however you like. It's worth playing around with it to get yourself comfortable with the uh, with how you want it to appear on the LCD display. So thank you for listening. Uh, after this, we'll be doing a uh, learning session on the alarms tabs, the analog output scaling, and the custom curve. So I hope to see you then. Thank you.